Bitcoin hoodie guy coming back here with another Casper video. Mike Tyson, the like and subscribe button. Thanks for that, Mike. Well, right now it doesn't feel like we're going to the moon. So what's happening? Well, the price is going, the whole market's dipping down. Casper a little bit more than everything else. You know, so far the last year when there's been a pullback, it hasn't, it's held up pretty well. But this last month, uh, it hasn't been the case. But it's a little over 12 cents. You can see... The market really, I guess, is I guess for the last day, it's actually up just a hair. Crypto bubbles, the last month, you can see Casp was down 26%. The last day, Casp was down 7.2%. You can see only a few things uh, in the market are green. Most of the market is red. Nothing unusual there. Um, you can see that on six months, we're still up on the dominance. And you can see that we were making higher highs and higher lows on the market dominance. And then, you know, starting at the middle of se in middle of September, uh, we started working our way down. Right here, we can take a look and see what some of the people on X are talking about. Hardy's talking about great buying opportunity for Casper. This is pretty much no liquidity left below. I don't like to talk about price much anymore. This is Chris Hutchinson. But I can see people freaking out the price, so I'll just say this. I've had this price level in mind for months now. Granted, it's taken longer than I expected to reach. I know that some people are talking about, and this isn't his post, but some people were talking about how we could go down to $0.11. Cents. So we don't know what the short-term price action is. Uh, that's where it's good if you do research on a project before you buy it. So uh, if it has price fluctuations that you will you know you know what you're holding you know and it will be 10 blocks per second some point in the first quarter next year crypto galaxy said we're going to ten dollars this bull run i don't think we're going to hit ten dollars but hopefully i'm wrong uh, not financial advice i just think that you know the two to five dollar range is somewhere we could end up and who knows uh, maybe we don't get there maybe we do um you can just see what some other people are saying this guy says he's not leaving not selling so that so that goes on this is my home um on reddit going under 12 cents someone asked big market news today read your bags of bitcoin dumps we're going to 10 to 11 cents most important day of the month today we have main refinancing rate monetary policy statement core retail sales retail sales unemployment claims ecb press conference i bought a bit today at 12.6 cents but i'm waiting for the news to dca more lower i believe we're going to 10 to 10 to 11 cents today so buckle up there could be more volatility um and you know you just gotta you know if you're gonna dollar cost average in then that's what you're doing you know if, if you're already loaded up your bags you're just waiting um so Yep, if you're looking to buy and you're in the United States, it takes me to today's channel sponsor, Pionex. They're the first U.S. regulated exchange where you can trade CASPA with the USDT or USD pair. Available in 47 states. You can trade with fiat. You can use your debit, credit card, connect your bank account, or you can send some crypto like some USDT over there. That's what I did. Pionex has the lowest trading fees, 10 times lower than most other exchanges. You can see on pinex.com they have Nacho trading did five hundred thousand dollars in uh, volume yesterday in the last twenty four hours, and you can see wow, there's a big uh, green candle that just popped off right there, and so it's going to be coming to pinex.us soon, and also the team at Pinex is talking with other KRC twenty tokens, so we'll keep your eyes peeled for that. Pinex.us is also doing a giveaway, 100,000 Caspa. All you have to do to sign up is deposit or trade 350 Caspa. You can click the referral link in the description or the pinned comment if you want to start trading and try to get part of that free Caspa. Well, you can see that there's a lot of trading volume with Nacho. It's on Pinex, it's on CoinX. Um, you know, they're trading on Casper Bot, almost $2 million traded. So that's pretty good for a KRC20. Casper is rosen up 7 million. Caspi has actually jumped up a lot, 154%. It's 11.5 million market cap there. Bert, million dollar market cap. Looks like a GameStop type of coin ran up. Pepe's down a little bit. You got Popcat, $200,000 market cap. Let's check in on Hoodie. Got to see what's going on with old Hoodie. Okay, we're down 7%. 160 holders, $64 trading volume. $6,200 market cap. We'll take it. Now, this is the wallet that's been connected, and I don't know if it's, if it's been proven, but the wallet address I have that could potentially be connected to Marathon Digital. And right here, they got about 85 million CASPA, so that's roughly kind of what they had in their last quarterly report. So 
Um, they're still potentially holding a decent amount of CASPA. And, uh, you know, at this time like this is when you zoom out. And if you have dry powder and you believe in a project, it's a blessing in disguise because you're able to dollar cost average in. And sometimes when you have the worst performing crypto the last month in the top 100, that hurts. But that doesn't mean that it's game over. And uh, at the same time, you know, I'm just one guy on the internet with internet connections. So, uh, you know, you don't want to take financial advice from me. You got to kind of do your own thinking. That's just kind of a lot of what I'm doing is documenting my journey. I mainly only talk about like, uh, you know, Pinex. I took them on. I'm using them. I'm used them. So I wouldn't, you know, talk about an ex you know, exchange I didn't use. And I don't really talk about projects I'm not invested in. So only really Bitcoin and Dog Go to the Moon and Nacho and some KRC 20s and Caspa. So, um, you know, my thesis doesn't change and I don't know if I'm going to be right. You know, I've through my crypto investing and journey, I got off to a good start. I bought Bitcoin in 2017 in the summer and it was around 2500 and sold it off around $15,000. Not very much money, only made a couple hundred bucks. Um, I was smart. I remember I got drunk at a party, this barbecue, and I was telling everyone about Bitcoin back then. And uh, it had been a good move for anyone to buy it back then. But at the same time, I've messed around with some meme coins and NFTs and DeFi over the last you know, four years. And some of them I got burned on and some I did good. So, um, but I'm not quick to jump in my thesis just because the price doesn't match what I want. Um, and I knew that it could potentially go back to 10 or 11 cents. So, um, you know, that's a possibility and anything's really on the table. But for me, you know, I'm just sticking to my guns and we'll see. I think there's going to be some, you know, we need Bitcoin to really go up you know, over 80,000 to really feel like the next leg of the bull market's kicked off. And Bitcoin's sucking up a lot of liquidity. I haven't checked, but what's its market dominance at? 57, 58%. Uh, market dominance, almost 58%. So, um, you know, once it's altcoin season, it might get down to like 45%. Or the ETFs might have changed the game. There just might, more liquidity might stay in Bitcoin. We'll see. But I do like the team and the people and the devs that are working on Caspa. I like the community. And I like the technology and I think a proof of work that's secure with a good hash rate that is also has a fast layer one is going to mean something at some point. And that's what I'm staking my claim on. So it uh, doesn't mean that meme, meme coins and AI stuff and D-Pen might pop off. But I think that, uh, you know, for the long haul, I believe in Caspa. So that's my two cents. Thanks for watching and have a good day.